Hello, hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to another video of Ready or Not. Today, we are going over three Easter eggs in the game, Ready or Not. Now, it's not like these Easter eggs are hard to find. It's not like they're super secret or anything. They're easy enough to find, but they're just a little bit out of the way. But we're just going to show you in this video how to get to them real quick. So let's get into it. So when you first spawn into the main office of the lobby area, you're going to want to head to your left, out the door, and down the staircase to meet Deb. Who is Deb? Deb is this thing. That's right, folks, you're meeting a shooting target named Deb. And as you can see, once you take a closer look, Deb really stands out from the crowd. Now, I'm curious as to who did this and to what end. You can see, you can see the face drawn in, you can see the brown tuff of hair, so we might deduce this was done by some officers. Maybe this dummy was never intended to be used. Maybe this was some harmless hazing of a fellow officer. Or maybe this is some dark foreshadowing for future events to come. We'll probably know more at the game's full release. So once you're done flirting with Deb, you can take another left over to the other Easter egg in this area, in this whole lobby, really. So you're just going to go down this hallway here, and you're going to find a police officer's cap pretty old style too and this can also be seen when you exit the kill house if you go all th all the way through it so yeah it's just a fun little easter egg police cap and you can see yourself wearing it if you go back upstairs up the staircase you came and go into the office and go into the locker room there is a beautiful mirror that'll show you with the police cap on so have fun with that so for this last quote-unquote easter egg you're gonna want to head over to the map and select the hotel mission checking in and when you spawn into the map make your entry into that middle room there uh lock everything else up but after that, go to the right to the white door, and there's a whole corridor of rooms there. Once you clear all those rooms out, you're going to come across a big broad room with a bookcase in it, and also a piece of wall will be opened, and there will be bags of money nearby. Now, story-wise, this makes sense because this map is supposed to be a so-and-so so gang hideout. So when you enter this little crevice here, you're going to come across somebody's little uh, private chamber here. They got a mattress laid out, they got a bong, they're, gonna, they're ready to have a good time they got all these pictures of what i assume to be celebrities and songwriters or whatever in here also you will see a piece of unfinished wall and you'll be able to look right through this and actually it connects to the bathroom of the next door hotel room and the way this is is probably the mirror in the bathroom is one-way glass so whoever's on this side of it can see in but whoever's on the other side cannot see in the other way. At first I thought this was like something to watch hotel residents with and that may look like it but thinking about it this is a gang hideout and it's the hotel itself is not even finished in its construction. The ground level is still being constructed at least. So at least that wouldn't be happening right now because the hotel's not even open for business. But it's just it's just interesting how they're adding stuff like this to the game. No doubt there's more Easter eggs than what I've covered in this video here, but I have not looked in every nook and cranny. So maybe you guys know of some of the things that I haven't covered. So why don't you type them down in the comments? I hope you enjoyed this brief list video and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe for more ready or not content and until next time guys take care